welcome back guys in this video i'll be showing you how to use amd's anti-lag 2 in rise of the ronin it will help in cutting down the latency we'll be combining anti-lag 2 with xcss2 upscaler and fsr 3.1 frame generation the game already supports fsr frame generation and even the upscaler is decoupled from it but it does not support anti-lag 2 the gameplay is similar to a souls like game requires quick inputs so it's highly recommended to use anti-lag 2 in order to achieve all of this, I will be using Nitex Free OptiScaler mod, Nukem 9's Free DLSS G2FSR 3 mod, and Fake Mikau's Fake NV API. Nukem 9's mod will replace DLSS frame generation with FSR frame generation. I will inject the mod in this game using Nitex OptiScaler mod. Fake Mikau's Fake NV API will be used to replace Nvidia Reflex with Anti Lag 2. The game received a new update just a few days ago. This is the update log. Adjusted the settings of presets added recommended preset it's the most suitable preset based on our pc specification adjusted name of setting from fps limit to fps unfortunately this update did not fix the slow motion bug in order to prevent the game from running in a slow motion state you need to make the game run at fps values close to 30 60 or 120 on ally i'll be targeting 30 fps this game is still very heavy on the GPU, even on low settings which makes no sense considering how bad it looks. A base FPS of 30 is not ideal for using FSR frame generation. So if your PC has a more powerful AMD based GPU, try targeting 60 FPS. Some bug fixes. Fix stuttering issue in specific stages and circumstances. Fixed an issue where the game would get stuck loading in specific situations. I'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler mod. You can download it from GitHub. We'll give its link in the description. Expand the asset section. Click on the dot link. I'll be using build version 0.7.7 preview 7 20250316. We'll be using build 0.122 universal version of Nukem 9's mod. You can download it from Nexus mods. Just need to have a free Nexus mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Then click on slow download. Download will start. We'll be using version 1.2.1 of fake NV API. You can download it from GitHub. It's free as well. Just expand the asset section. Then click on the dot 7z link. Download will start. First I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Open the mods archive file. Copy the highlighted files, two of them. OptiScaler.ini and OptiScaler.tll. Select the game in your Steam library, right click. Manage Browse Local Files. This is the game's install directory. Paste the mod files here. Change the name of OptiScaler.tll file to txgi.tll. This game officially supports XSS Subscaler version 2. Now you need to create a copy of nvngx underscore dlss.tll file. This file is present in the same directory. Copy, paste. Change its name to nvngx.tll. Now I'll install Nukem 9's mod. Open its archive file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy this dll file. dlss g2fsr3 amd is better. Open the games install directory. Paste the dll file here. Now open optiscaler.ini file. This file is present in this directory. There it is. Just need to set FG type to Nukem's. This will activate Nukem 9's mod. Won't be using OptiScale FSR frame generation. Click on File, click on Save, Close. Now I'll install Fake NV API. Open its archive file. Copy the two files present inside this archive file. Open the game's install directory. Library. Paste the files here. We are ready to run the game. Game set runner and settings. Just enable FreeSync. Haven't enabled anti lag from here. I've set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My is running on BIOS version 341. Install AMD's GPU driver. Internal and addition version 25.3.1. Using a 30 watts manual profile. All three power values are at 30 watts. Set the resolution to 720p. CPU boost disabled. Connected my 8 bit to. Ultimate 2C controller to ally via 2.4 GHz wireless mode. I'll use a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. In game settings, name of the GPU RTX 4090. This means the mod is working. 
vSync disable display mode set to borderless this is very important required to use FSR frame generation FPS limit setting is gone now replaced by FPS set it to 120 highlight the slow motion bug first present even in this new version of the game FPS for cutscene 60 resolution 720p we have access to NVIDIA reflex setting fake NV API will replace it with anti-lag 2 first I'll disable frame generation of no access to reflex now upscale is set to DLSS using its quality P set dynamic resolution of sharpness level 0.7 using lowest to low settings motion quality set to medium with these settings GP load will be within a range of 80 to 95 percent post processing effects disable wherever possible motion blur depth of field chromatic abrasion vignetting noise filter lens layer bloom ray tracing off open optical mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key and just increase its size click on a drop down bar next to UI scale select one select the upscaler from this drop down bar I am using XCSS version 2 frame generation disabled for the time being we are in standing at the entrance of Honmoku village poor performance here 30 to 33 fps but the game is running in a slow motion state observing some input delay so the slow motion bug is still present now to fix it just cap the fps at 30 fps set to 30 log same thing for fps cutscenes resume the game now we are getting a log 30 fps that's good to see gpu load is around 87 percent so we have some gpu headroom i am observing some frame pacing you can improve frame pacing by capping the fps at 30 via rtss or just enable fsr frame generation fsr upscaler in this game makes the game world look a bit pixelated during motion this does not happen in the case of xcss upscaler but xcss can sometimes make our character's hair look pixelated during motion not happening here that's good to see oh it happened see this is the issue that i was talking about occurs when there is a tree in the background trees leaves not occurring now ok now I'll enable DLSS frame generation which is basically FSR 3.1 frame generation visual settings from here select frame generation set it to DLSS make sure NVIDIA reflex is on I'll enable anti-lag tools latency monitor by pressing its hotkey combo on shift and L keep pressing them to cycle through the different display options here's the latency value yeah now we are getting close to 60 fps can observe the added amount of smoothness VRAM usage is around 5.5 GB latency value 45 to 55 milliseconds into delay is manageable I will show you some combat call my house traverse the open world leave this place the animation looks smooth interface is not flickering the end result would have been much better if the pace fps was close to 60 going from 60 to 120 but here we are going from 30 to 60 it's still better than the real 30 fps in my honest opinion the rest it's up to you now i'll be showing you some combat try out the inputs use my audachi try to execute a few parries oh my god i lunged at me just need to press the y key right before our enemies attack lands like this that was great I yeah, stunned the guy both of them dead 
is my martial skill good performance here lock 60 fps hit this dog oh my god chopped off his head that was brutal stable performance use my grab big upon use my grappling hook to scale the buildings use the stealth approach sneak in aerial attack skate that guy got the kill oh he's still alive not anymore 